All right, you all, so today is like a super chill day for me and I'm just gonna make a little vegan pizza, okay? I want a pizza, I'm craving it, I need a pizza. Mmm, ain't too bad. <laughs> What's up, health lovers? It's Mercedes, and thank you all so much for joining me again. Now, if you're wondering, I don't make it a regular practice to like bite into a tomato, but it was pretty good. It kind of just tasted like a treat just now. It was juicy too. Like, look at all these juices. But anyway, so you all, if you are returning to the channel, thank you so much for being with me again. And you all, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Okay, so what are we doing? of course we are making a vegan pizza you all i love pizza so much and i've been craving it so i got me some cauliflower crust and some good tomato sauce and i'm gonna add a couple little extra things that i like but i'm gonna go ahead and show you all the ingredients so here we go okay you all so i have my cauliflower crust i have some pizza sauce i am gonna add some tomato to it some basil this bitchin sauce this is the pesto kind you all this is so delicious and look at the ingredients oh my gosh like you cannot beat that so i'm gonna put some oyster mushrooms on there look at how funny they look i can never get over that no matter how many times i eat you know oyster mushrooms i have some follow your heart cheese and some olives because i love olives and i think i'm gonna season it with like some onion powder stuff like that all right you all so i have my pizza pan and i put some butter on it just so it won't stick i don't have any parchment paper so you know make it work with the butter and cauliflower crust is very delicate i noticed like you have to be very gentle with it it's already kind of like breaking and i watched a video because i wanted to make my own cauliflower crust and the lady she was very gentle with it so Let's try to get this in here. Okay, <laughs> it's in there, <laughs> it's in there, okay. All right, you all, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put my sauce on it. I'm going to put this pesto sauce, this bitchin' sauce on as a base before I put on my tomato sauce. I never tried this one. Mmm, it has a nice nutty flavor. I can tell it's nooch in here, yes. It is nutritional yeast in here. It tastes really cheesy, so I think it's gonna give the pizza a really nice taste. So let's just lather this on here like that. Y'all, if you have not tried this sauce, I would suggest you trying it. I believe they have a buffalo one, if I'm not mistaken, and the buffalo is so good. I think I'm talking about the right sauce. Okay. So now I'm just gonna add my pizza sauce and I don't know how much I'm gonna need, but I'm gonna try not to put too much because I don't wanna make the crust too wet to where it breaks apart. I've never made a vegan pizza before, so we're just gonna put a little bit on right now. Okay. Mm. <laughs> it was good, it's kinda sweet too. Okay, that's all I'm gonna add on there for sauce because I don't want it to be too moist. So now I'm just going to put the cheese on there. This is one of my favorite cheeses. I don't know if it melts, I don't really remember, but we're gonna see, we're gonna find out. Oh. You all, I promise, I'm gonna go watch me some Once Upon a Time. My friend Bay told me to watch this show called Bridgerton or Bridgington or, or something. But he said it's pretty people with pretty clothes and it's funny. So I'm with it. I'm gonna watch that. Now I'm just gonna cut my tomato a little bit and add a few tomatoes on top. So we're just gonna do that all chef like. <laughs> you all, I kind of want to load this up with basil, like to the max, but let me dry that off a little bit. But I don't want it to overtake the flavor. But I love basil, so I don't know if it could if it could get too strong for me. Mmm. Smells really good. 
Oh my gosh, it's looking like a pizza. Once you get like the greenery and the tomatoes on there, it just gives the pizza more life. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Maybe I should do a smaller one. Nope, let's do three. Dry with the towel. Okay. Ooh, almost threw that towel in that candle. <laughs> Not good. I've been watching cooking shows and they would call this a rough chop. <laughs> I think that's enough basil, you all. What do you think? You think it's enough basil? It's looking good. It's smelling good too. Okay. So you all, I love olives. So I'm gonna put a few on there. Not too many though. I want them kind of big, but not that big. So I'm gonna cut them down just a little bit more. Yeah, that looks good. We have some olives. Okay. Mm hmm Don't give it a nice salty flavor. Now, let's put these oyster mushrooms on there. Mm. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> okay. So you all, before I put it on there, I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika, a little bit of garlic powder, give it some extra flavor, and a little bit of black pepper. Okay. Not too much though. I don't want it to be spicy. And I'm gonna chop them down. Mmm, that paprika is making me smell so delicious. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and add our meat protein. Oh my gosh, well, oyster mushrooms was a good choice. I'm gonna cut a little bit more. Cause I don't know. I think I want it extra meaty. Mm -hmm. Yummy. All right, you all. So it wasn't originally in the plans, but I'm going to add a little bit of red onion just because I love the flavor. Okay, we have the onion. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this pizza smells good and it's not even baked yet. So you all, I'm just gonna pop this in the oven. I believe for like 15, 25 minutes, somewhere in between there. I'll just try to keep an eye on it, see when it looks ready. And I'll even try it on camera just so we can see how the flavors came together. Cause there's a lot going on, but I bet it's delicious, okay? All right, you all, so I'm back for a second. Okay, so I decided to make two side salads for Trina because when I go get pizza, normally I like to have a salad with it. So I have some lettuce that was going bad, some iceberg. And I've had this lettuce for a little bit, so I should probably go ahead and use it so it doesn't go bad, okay? So we have our lettuce, and I'm just going to put some cucumbers, some tomatoes, um, maybe these peppers. You all, my peppers are going bad too. Like. This weekend, my little sister had a birthday party and I ate out pretty much a lot this weekend. So I have to get to these foods now. So I'm just going to cut these peppers. And I love adding peppers to salad because it just gives it such a pretty color. Oh my gosh, makes it beautiful. And they're super delicious. Like the red ones are a little sweeter. I don't eat orange peppers too often, so. I don't really know the flavor profile, but I'm sure it's good and healthy for you. And I kind of want to add some basil to it, but I don't, between the pizza and the salad, I don't want to add too much of the same flavor so I can feel like I'm eating, you know, different food. So we're gonna go ahead and add some cucumbers. These are so cute and little. I think they're called baby cubes. I love that these are bite-sized. I got them from Costco and these would just be good for a snack. All right, you all, so my tomato is added. I wonder if I have any avocado up there. No, I don't have any avocado. 
I do notice that I have a shallot. I was gonna add shallots to that, but I didn't see it, so out of sight, out of mind. I think we should put some cheese on this salad, but first we have to get the dressing. So what dressing am I using? All right, you all, so I'm going to be using this vegan goddess dressing, and it is super delicious. Now you all, I went to the grocery store and I thought I was getting vegan goddess, but I had got the green goddess. But the green goddess has milk and eggs in it. My boyfriend's not vegan, so I'm gonna use this one for his food and I'm gonna use this one for mine. All right, you all, so the pizza is ready and this is what it looks like. Ooh, that's hot, that's hot. Server hands, I definitely have server hands which means you can't feel the tips of your fingers. Doesn't it look delicious? Okay, the salad is pretty good too. Mm. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a bite of both. Okay, let's see, let's get some tomato in there, some cucumber, a little pepper. Okay, so I really like the salad because I didn't do too much to it. I just put a couple tomatoes, a little bit of dressing, some cheese, and it's super good. Okay, didn't do too much to it, that's the trick. Simple or less is more, I'll say that. In this case, less is more. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the pizza. Okay, let's see how my pizza cutting skills are. Ooh, it tastes a little hard. Okay, we got through. We got through though. Okay. Ooh, it looked good. And this follow your heart cheese, it melted so well, you all. I didn't know. Let's get a cheesy slice. Okay, this slice is like, oh, that's a little broken. Yeah. I'm still get that slice because nothing's wrong with a little bro broken. I gotta cut it better. Hold on, give me one more second. Okay. Mmm, it's so cheesy. Mm -hmm. This was the part that broke in the plastic, so be careful with your collie crush. You all see the detail in that? Oh my gosh. watching TV it's so good it got me mixing up my words okay so yes that little recipe that you saw try all of it all of it okay <laughs> but you all thank you so much for joining joining me and I love you all please remember to stay inspired and make you some vegan pizza leave in the comments when you do tell me what you added to yours what cheeses work best for you and overall just how you enjoyed it but all right you all vegan flower chop is out